Hi, welcome to the part 30 of this video series. We are looking at real certification questions on AZ900. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Let's jump into the questions. See, this story goes uh, in a very interesting manner. You have a company and the company plans to automate. What are they going to automate? The deployment of servers on Azure platforms. And your manager is concerned that why you are doing that, you might expose the administrative credentials during deployment. Now you want, the client is looking for you to give a recommendation and Azure solution that encrypts the administrative credentials during the deployment. So what did we talk about from an encryption standpoint whenever you want to encrypt just keep your brains aside and use the key vault this is the service which safeguards cryptographic keys and other secrets like passwords and certificates for encryption but let's scan through other options option b information protection it is a cloud-based solution what it does is see if you have a lot of documents on blob storage if you scan through the documents it will discover if they have social security or PII information like credit cards social security numbers Aadhaar cards and it will classify hey you know what out of hundred documents these five documents they have credit card information they will classify that this does contain PII and it then goes ahead and protects the documents so it is a very different purpose it will not help you to secure or encrypt credentials let's look at C as your security center by the way security center has been renamed to Microsoft Defender for cloud it helps you maintaining a security posture and improve threat protection do we have any such needs indirectly yes you are trying to uh, you know implement some sort of security but security center or defender will not help you to encrypt encrypt the administrative credentials let's look at last word as your mfa you know what is mfa it is just like your banks when you are accessing the online portals you use your username and passwords after that like if you have an account with HSBC it gives you an RFID where a token will come and you have to enter that token as well in SBI they generate OTP to and they send it to your mobile uh, devices so it's similar MFA is like if you're trying to log in we want double protection it will not encrypt your credentials so D is wrong as well this is the final answer we lock this let's look at the next one this is on Azure Key Vault so this is interesting Azure Key Vault is used to store secrets which is which is what our documentation says it stores cryptographic keys and secrets which is fine but here is a catch they are saying that it stores secrets for ad user accounts this is crap it stores secrets for cloud apps and services and hence in this case it should be server applications it does not store secrets for only PII okay it does not store secrets for AD administrative accounts only so this should be the answer uh, let's look at the next one see you have 10 virtual networks with 100 virtual machines that is fine you need to limit the inbound traffic to the virtual network so you will have to apply some sort of filters when you have to apply filters there are two services which are useful firewall and NSG NSG is used to uh, do this one at a time but if you want to do it overall for the entire group of 10 virtual networks and 100 virtual machines go ahead with one firewall if you go ahead with NSG you will have to create multiple NSGs but NSG is not even an option here so this should be my answer B 
we cannot be an answer in this case because because virtual network gateways is used to connect your on-premises networks to the Azure virtual networks. So, so B will not work because in this question, nobody is talking about on-premises stuff. So what does ASG help you with? It helps you define fine-grained network policies based on your workloads centralized on applications instead of explicit IP addresses. But it will not help you with limiting your inbound traffic. That's a different purpose. Okay, let's look at this one. You can enable just-in-time VM access by using what? You see this? This documentation talks about using a lockdown inbound traffic just in time for your virtual machines using Defender. I What I told you, Security Center is now Defender. So in your latest exams, you might not see Security Center. You might see it as Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So this should be the answer. This is the final answer. See, Azure Front Door is Microsoft's modern CDN network. What it does is it provides fast, reliable, and secure access between your users and your applications, both for static and dynamic web content. So here, this will not help you with just-in-time stuff. Firewall is used to filter out unwanted network access and bastion it is used to connect to a virtual machine using your browser on your desktops or laptops and as your portal it will not help you with git let's look at the last question of this video see again it is a similar question you have you know multiple vms in your azure environment and you want to ensure that VM1 is accessible over internet using HTTP protocols. So what are the two possible solutions? In this case, you have to use network filters because you know you will be accessing it over HTTP from the internet. If you talk about network filters, there are only two stuff here. Azure Firewall, which helps you with filtering, like it provides firewall security, it helps you with threat protection and what it does is it does a l3 l7 filtering so it's like you have all of your vms here and then you have azure firewall here and this is your internet and then azure firewall is between your internet and your vms and it will you know deny or approve the traffic from the internet it has that intelligence and in order to do that it's kind of filtering the traffic if it sees certain things for example like uh, the network it has like traffic filtering rules and it allows inbound and outbound access see ddos protection will you know it will help you avoid high sql injections which will disrupt or it will kind of fill up all your resources but it, this is not a thing about DDoS I mean this is not a use case for DDoS and traffic manager is a DNS based load balancer see there is no requirement of load balancers here because if you see a network traffic manager profile it is is kind of a load balancer profile we will create if there are so many different vms i'll explain you load balancing so if you have uh, multiple vms and then this is your user they are trying to access so if the user count increases one more user comes in so the load balancer here the traffic manager will decide where should i pass the load here or here okay this question does not have anything to do with load balancing hence a is wrong and then let's look at nsg it is used to filter network traffic to and from azure resources in an azure virtual network and this is what we need here as well 
So these are my two answers. Hit the subscribe button and click the like button if you like these videos. I put in a lot of effort to put these contents around. This brings us to the end of part 30. See you in the next part.